What's going on, Maryland? Governor Westmore here, and I'm here in Cecil County at a sand and gravel mine, exploring economic opportunities, how our state is going to grow and compete and win. But so since we're on the road, I decided we'll do some of our more for more updates here. So let's get it started. This week, I had a chance to sit down with small business owners all across the state to talk about the challenges they are facing, how the state can support, and how fair wages are gonna be such an important part to their long-term growth and making sure they can get the employees that they need and deserve. And it's why our administration is committed to ensuring that we can get to a $15 minimum wage this year. And immediately after our meeting, I had a chance to testify on our bill, the Fair Wage Act of 2023. This will make sure we get to a $15 minimum wage this year and index it to inflation. It means we'll put money in the pockets of Maryland families right now that will go right back into the economy. And it means we'll add a measure of predictability for our small businesses. I'm committed to this bill and we are excited about working together to make it happen, to make sure that our state can be both more competitive and also more equitable. And it's not a choice, we're going to do both. During our most recent Board of Public Works meeting that I chaired, we allocated over $13.4 million for affordable housing. This is going to help create over 200 units of quality affordable housing for working families, for parents, and to support our young children. Maryland needs to support more housing options for Marylanders, and we are going to lead. I address Maryland's business leaders and the Chamber of Commerce to talk about how and why the North Star for our administration is going to be clear. This is about creating pathways for work, wages, and wealth, and showing that with the proper investments and the proper partnerships, that this is going to be a time where Maryland is going to lead economically, and Maryland's going to make sure that we leave no one behind. We celebrated Chicken Day with Marylanders from the Eastern Shore who were there to celebrate the 100-year anniversary of Marylanders who are using chicken as protein that it didn't only support our bodies, but also a growing industry in the state of Maryland. I was at the University of Maryland College Park when we were there for the naming of the new public policy building called the Thurgood Marshall Building. It's an honor to be there in a space that's named after not only a Maryland legend, but someone who every single day will inspire the students and faculty and all of us to live up to the legacy of the new names. I was in Baltimore to meet with the leaders of the House Democratic Caucus to both welcome the new leader, Hakeem Jeffries, but then also talk about the good work that's taking place in Maryland and why Maryland is prepared to lead the way. The work we are gonna get done has got to be done in partnership. If we stand divided, we can't win. If we stand united, we can't lose. And finally, the First Lady, Mia, James, and I, we adopted the newest member of our family, Tucker Balti Moore. And I want to say thank you to the Maryland SPCA, who has been wonderful in terms of helping us to find the newest energetic member of our family. So get ready, Annapolis. It's pretty fast. This week, we continue to move pretty fast. And we continue to move together. Thanks, Maryland. It's our time. And I'll see you next week.